Hi everyone, Ben from Latitude Mud Arms here. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of the latest Meridian 30 to be produced. This one's been a little customised. It's got a bit of a different power system and I'll actually do a separate video on the power system so those of you that don't want to go into that kind of detail don't get bored by those kind of things in this one. Um, they've also made a couple of slight alterations inside which you'll see when we go in. So the Meridian 30, uh, we call it a 30 because it's around 30 feet long, 9.1 meters. It's based on the Iveco 70C210, so it's the higher output four cylinder from Iveco. It's the 5100 wheelbase, it's got the eight speed auto, airbag suspension, all the tech packs, the three option packs from Iveco as well as the diff lock. So it's a well spec vehicle. The new one now has things like Apple CarPlay, tire pressure monitoring, radar cruise, all the crash avoidance features, which is nice. So beautiful motorhome. The outside's a little more subtle than maybe what you're used to seeing. But very nice look about it. So the Meridian 30 has not just the lower section painted, but also the upper section painted. So this is actually a full two pack paint on this one. You can see from outside, We've got the 19 foot electric awning. These have the Bluetooth sensor, so you've got an app on your phone, as well as the wind sensor, so it does get windy, it'll pack itself up. See all the outside lights there. Part of the storage on the Meridian, really sets it apart. So all of these chrome locks here are all part of the central locking system. So you've just got a remote control to lock and unlock those. And you'll find pretty much anywhere where we can do the draw bin storage. We've done that. You can see some of their accessories that come with the van are in here ready to go for handover later on today. Very easy to use. You can see one hand. Very easy. And you got the double step, the entry there, that's electric. And if you do happen to uh, leave it out and fill it off, it will pack itself away. Nice dometic door there. Now these doors actually separate, this part separates, so you do have a security type screen door here. I'll just separate that here. So you can have your airflow and security in one door. That's a nice feature. Now I'm not sure if I've shown this on previous Meridian videos. It's a little feature that we have on these storage area through here and she goes right through the other end of the motorhome so it's about probably 1.8 meters long perfect for you know tent poles or stuff that you got out in your camping area there so that tucks in under there you got your courtesy light system in the doorway too and that links up to the lighting inside we'll go and have a look inside a little bit later for now we'll continue going around the outside so the meridian has an outside 32 inch television which is under here. <laughs> so that's nice. Well, normally there's just a storage area here for a barbecue. This particular customer has specced up an electric barbecue and then we've actually custom designed and fabricated this whole mechanism here, which allows him very easily to just pull that out. So I like that. It lines up beautifully with the table here. So you've got your workspace straight over here, prep all your food, it's electric too, so that's nice. This one's got quite a big battery and solar system, um, even beyond the standard Meridian, which is quite substantial anyway. Like I said, I'll do a separate video on that. So it's super easy to use. I like it, it's turned out really well. You can see the pump out here for the toilet. There's also a flush point underneath, so when you're dumping the toilet waste, you've got a way to flush your hose clean. Nice wheel covers there. You've got the plastic inner guards, and the mud flaps are all standard as well. You saw me pull down the table here before. You've got a nicely located power point just there. And the outside speakers, it's part of the Fusion Audio Pack that's standard in the Meridian. 
hopefully there's not too much background noise today. Seems like there is. Maybe two four kilo gas bottles. Now in this particular van, the only thing that the gas runs is the hot water service, because they have worn, as you can probably tell from the electric barbecue and the battery system. They've tried to make as much of it as electric as possible. But the slide out there makes it very easy to change over. Turn the bottles on or off. Super easy. In this compartment here, we've got the batteries. Like I said, I'll come back and do a separate video on that. It's nice and easy to close. It's one hand. Oh. And from out here, you can actually see one of the cameras. It's uh, the 360 camera system. So all of our bigger motorhomes have the 360 camera system standards. That gives you the bird's eye view inside coming around the back got the hard cover the spare tire which is nice they've already been in yesterday to get some of the accessories so they've got this uh, a-frame here which will stay on the motorhome got the aluminium bumper bar which is standard more cameras they've added some additional awnings as well which they specced up specifically to give some covering over windows and such so the tow bar is standard on this one guys. Got the uh, awning on top of the slide out there. More outside lights, hot water service, you get your service access to the toilet, your water fill and town pressure. Now on this one with the power system and the generator, they actually deleted the generator to really maximize that battery solar. So they've gone all in, which um, I've been testing over the last week. Has proven to be pretty good when running the air conditioning off the off the batteries without any worries so you can see here one thing that really sets us apart is the fact that the storage lockers come out with the slide out which is great so again nice and easy to operate and all this is a before these silver locks are linked up to the central locking tons of space there Notice the light just here, perfectly positioned for lighting up those bins at night. So this area here is storage underneath the lounge. So the lounge configuration is a little bit different, which you'll see when we go inside. But this is a similar kind of space to what's normal under the bed. So this is a huge space in under here. You can see on all the models we've always got a power point 12 volt socket in under here. So if you've got various things you want to charge or run that are stored away. We've actually had us make some custom footstools or ottomans which are stored under the bed there. Beautiful paint job on this. Absolutely lovely. Now the bottom colour is a um, magnet grey it's called. So if you're interested in picking colours, that's the magnet grey. Side steps, look at those. Very nicely finished. The hammer tone finish here matches the large bar. And then obviously got a nice polished top there. Courtesy lights here that are linked up to your door and the locking. So if you unlock the vehicle, it'll light this area up at night time. See the way the slide out seal works here. There's actually a wiper that wipes off any excess moisture there as you're bringing it in. You see the awning on top. Keeps anything off the roof like sticks and things. So it works really well. So a bit of a shorter outside video this time guys just because I'm going to do that separate power video 
definitely a uh, good looking motorhome. These guys are itching to pick it up, so I'll get a move on and do the inside video. All right, let's go inside and have a look. So you notice as we come in, the steps are really well spaced out. There's nothing really there, got a handle on the way in. Yeah, there's some really nice features in this motorhome which I'll go into some detail. Just a quick walk around first. Beautiful. Let's begin at the front of the vehicle. So, like I mentioned when we're outside, the Meridian is based on the Iveco Daily 70C210, and it has the three option packs. So the option packs include things like Radar Cruise, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, the SatNav, lots of safety features like extra airbags, um, automatic like crash avoidance and lane departure and tire pressure monitoring. And, all those kind of things so that's nice we also add the diff lock option the automatic transmission and the rear airbag suspension so that's pretty much as the the top spec you can get from my Beko. so they've added the uhf radio down here standard we've got it's not on at the moment but you've got the 10 inch screen for your 360 bird's eye view camera system so if you want to see that in more detail and actually in action and driving, head over to the YouTube channel. There's a video there, a little short one, just demonstrating the usage of that. So the seats are, so they originally they form part of the, the comfort pack from Iveco. So they've got the suspension system underneath. They're heated. You've got plenty of adjustment to get yourself comfortable. And now we trim these in the leather of your choice. So it's an automotive grade leather. There's probably 20 or more colors for you to choose from. These guys have gone for what we call the diamond stitching pattern in the middle, which I, I really like that. I think that looks good. Very, very nice. So you've also got the leveling system up here. So what this does when you pull up on site, you just hit power, auto level, and it levels and makes the vehicle rock solid for you. Um, there's an app for your phone as well if you want to do it through that. Got some storage, lighting. Actually a lot more storage in here than what you realise. So they've added the RV Wi-Fi unit up here so all the smart television and all of those functions will work nicely. Beautifully trimmed, all the leather. This is genuine leather all through here as well. This area here is actually padded and uh, fully insulated behind there as well. Again, more storage. Plenty of space in there. Even the bits that you don't really see are finished off really nice. You know, it's the solid stainless steel locks everywhere that we use on the cabinetry. Nice little lights. So one short push will make it blue, long push will make it white. So you've got that nighttime option there. All right, so the kitchen, it's quite substantial and really well appointed. And these guys have added a couple little things to really make it their own. So you've got the Bosch combination convection microwave grill. So that's standard in the Meridian. Very nice. Then you have this great bench extension, which look at me with one hand. Very easy. No banging, no crashing. So that adds around 600 millimeters of extra bench space for you there. And then that, combined with the appliance cupboard, 
So you can see in there, that's actually the bench continued right through, and that's it's perfectly flat through there. And you have the two power points tucked away behind there as well. That's perfect for your toaster, kettle, thermomix, coffee machine, whatever kind of appliances you want. And it's quite large in there too, so there's plenty of room. And again, you saw how easy that was to pack it away. Lots of cupboard space. The range hood's vented directly outside. All touch, beautifully built in, nice and flush. And again, these all the stainless steel latches everywhere. Top of the range, Blum, cabinetry hardware, soft close, no banging, nothing funny there. You notice all the cupboards are lined with non-slip matting. Again, soft close. And we really thought about how to design these cupboards for you to use it, so with the different shelf dividers and things like that. Now, cooktop-wise, there's a couple of options in the Meridian. These guys have actually specced up their own um, hot plate setup, so it's a, it's a household Fisher and Paykel unit, and that's part of the reason why they went for the, um, the different power system on board. So, you've got the nice sink set up, the chopping board. Now, there's also some attachments, or some accessories, I should say, that come with the sink that you'll see in the drawers in a moment. They've added something that they did add, which is kind of pretty cool. They've got a, a, a zip hot tap um, here, so with the separate tap there, they've actually got boiling water on, ready to go on demand. All beautiful drawers. Again, top of the range Blum. They've lost a little bit of storage here, very small, just due to the hot tap behind there. Cuddle tray, these are nicely lined. When you feel these, they're just made perfectly beautiful. Got the foil and clean rep dispenser. Some of the accessories for the sink, fire blanket, hidden drawer. More sink accessories. Nice big drawer there. Now, yeah, if you've seen the Meridian video before, you'll know what's in here. Paul Fisher and Michael dish drawer. Built in beautifully in the cupboard, seemed to seem to look right. More drawer space. You'll notice we love drawers. Anything low in the motorhomes, or our first preference is to have a drawer there so that you're not reaching for stuff. Full depth, plenty of room. So, what a kitchen! I love that. Absolutely love it. You've got the under counter lighting there, which is nice. So moving on, as part of the power system on this one, they've got the full season and control, and it's actually master vault um, inverters and batteries. So this all communicates directly over the CAN network with this, so we can very accurately see things like how much the inverters are using, how much we're charging, how much solar, etc. on that. So like I said, I'll go into a bit more detail there. There's two screens, one next to the bed, one up here, and you can also link that to your iPad. Now on the other small bench, in this one we could call it a bar, I guess. You've got the 43 inch smart TV. So that's on a pull out bracket, so that can come out so you can better view it from your lounge area or pop it back in. It's just literally two clicks. It clicks in place. We've got the band, uh, 15 litre bin here. Perfectly positioned just at the doorway. Right next to your sink, love it. You get the diesel heater on board. That's one of the vents there. There's also one in the bathroom and the intake at the front. So we get really good airflow through there. Obviously more power points. If one, you have plenty of power points in here. And this is a little feature that I can see a lot of people wanting. So we designed it for this customer, but very nice. Look at that. So you can travel with the glasses in there. No worries, it'll be beautifully lit up. Look at that. Perfect. Alright, wardrobe. 
So above the wardrobe you've got the Fusion Audio System. So that links to your TV and the outside speakers. There's an app on your phone. It's multi-zone as well, so you can independently control the indoor and outdoor volume. Wardrobe, hanging rails, got easy access to your electrical gear there. Wardrobe space. And again, drawers everywhere down low. So plenty of wardrobe space. Side. So at the front we've got the Dramatic fridge. These are about just under 220 litres. So it's a compressor fridge. We wire it up so it runs on 12 volts so you've got full control from the battery management system. Whether that be the C-Zone in this one or the Red Arc in the standard setup. Really like the way the racks and the little lips are done on this. I think they've done a good job and it does a very nice job of uh, keeping consistency the cold air too. The Meridian also has the draw fridge, 30 litre one there. So if you've seen the Meridian video or you know the specs in this one, you'll know that this lounge isn't standard. So usually there's like a, a U-shape type thing here with a permanently mounted table. They really wanted to maximise the openness. So there's so much room here in the middle um, and then they've got a table that's mounted under the bed they can bring out for when they want to have a dining table set up. So that's a huge thing, just about two meters long, so lots of room there. Overhead cupboards. Again, all soft clothes. Beautiful to operate, very easy. Next to the bed, so both sides of the Meridian, you've got your wireless charging pads for your devices. You've got your extra screen there. So that duplicates all the things on the other screen. So you can turn all your bits and pieces on and off. You can see your water levels, your battery levels, how much solar you're coming in, how hard your inverters are working, all that kind of gear. Nice big bedside drawers. Power points and USBs on either side. Now these guys have gone for the electric lift for the bed. takes around oh, maybe 10 seconds and the bed lift up to access storage underneath. <clears throat> the mattress is a pocket spring uh, mattress with a memory foam top, uh, sorry a latex top I should say. It's very comfortable. So this is down to bed storage. You can see they've got two ottomans here that we've made for them in the matching leather with the diamond patterning. They've got their extra table that they wanted here, so that's um, not the normal setup, but you can, I guess you can see what they were willing to compromise with the practicality of the table to gain that kind of more openness, is what they were trying to achieve. So tons of space there, very easy to use. Even with the standard gas strut setup, we've got it engineered so that it's very lightweight for you to pick up. through to the bathroom. So the other alteration that these guys did was they actually deleted the washing machine, the washer dryer combo that's in here. And again, it was, the goal was to have as much space as possible in the bathroom. So by doing that, we could shorten up this cupboard a little bit. We altered this here as well compared to the normal setup. So you can see, um, you can see that uh, in our other Meridian video is a standard configuration. It's normally a smaller cupboard, uh, a couple of drawers, and then the big washer dryer combo here. So apart from that, very similar. Um, you've got your towel rails there, your flushing toilet, marine toilet, and then you've got this cupboard. So they've got the Dyson stick back in there, as well as the accessories, some shelving. It's cool. More cupboard space. points. We've got the extra switch module here for the season so we can actually program those buttons to turn anything on off that they'd like. Obviously drawers, we love drawers. And your storage. Drawers all the way down. Full length mirror. They added this little makeup mirror here which is cool. 
All right, nice big shower. So we'll just look back through there. Look at that, beautiful motorhome. So the colors, guys, I know a lot of people ask about the colors. That's the slate gray and the Arctic white is the cabinets. Um, I'd have to check exactly what the bench top is, but if you like the bench top, there's a bit of a close up. And it's the platinum splashback, which is like a silver. Right, let's have a look in the shower. So the door on these actually lines up with the wardrobe door, uh, with the ensuite wall, I should say, to give you privacy in the bathroom. There's so much space in here. Even when you have the washing machine, there's plenty of space. The beautiful shower set up. Huge big shower. Massive big shower. There's a um, clothesline that's gonna go up here today when they pick it up, just make sure they're happy with where it's gonna go. And they've added the rail in there as well, the grub rail. A nice solid door. You get your travel lock there so it doesn't move when you drive. Beautifully mounted, very secure. All right guys, if you're interested in the power system on this one, on this particular vehicle, make sure you head over to the YouTube channel. So I'll upload a video shortly on that one. The standard Meridian is quite substantial with the, um, with the power system anyway. It's got 400 amp hours of battery, over a thousand watts of solar, three kilowatt inverter, so we're pretty well specced anyway. Look at the nice little feature lights under there and under the bed. That's beautiful, isn't it? I like the artwork on the back wall too. It's a perfect spot for something, so I can see more people doing that. With us adding some personalization with artwork. All right, well, I better get going. These people will be here soon to pick it up. If you've got any questions, obviously reach out, give us a call comment on the video send us a message on any of the socials and obviously if you're on YouTube give us a subscribe so you keep up to date with any new builds that are coming out so beautiful alright guys have a fantastic day thank you